This is Red, our founder of Red Today Blog, coming to another set of MLB observations for the 2022 season, Week 20. The Brewers, I don't know what's up with them. Andrew McCutcheon and Kristen Yelich have always been middle of the order hitters. Why are they both taking turns batting leadoff? Why is Colton Wong, who at the beginning of his career batted at the bottom of the lineup, but as he got better as a contact hitter, he batted at the top? Why is he in the middle of the lineup? In a blowout, Victor Caratini pitched. That's what you do with the backup catcher. And Brassaro, we've been over this. He's a first baseman by trade, so him playing third base is a stretch. But then having him at second or in the middle of the lineup doesn't make sense. Cub. Contreras is one of the best offensive catchers in baseball. We know it's not a two hitter. Wisdom's a third base, not a third baseman, he's a first baseman playing third base. But then they move him around. Ian Happ had found really good success this year batting third most of the time. So then they bat him second, which is okay. He contact hitter, but six is not where he belongs. Nico Horner should not be batting fifth or fourth. That's a bottom order hitter, and maybe if you're really interested in his future as a lead top of the order hitter, then maybe second's okay. Morel, again, is become an infielder and become a utility player, but center field is stretch. Rafael Ortega is perfect in center, but again, not a six hitter. He's either a speed of contact or at the bottom of the lineup. And then Madrigal batting leadoff, that was good. He's got speed and contact there. But then both Newcomb and Brolt were Newcomb with this top prospect a while ago. Just give an opportunity to start. The Cubs' best pitcher, Hendricks, is out for the rest of the year. I don't know when Wade Miley's going to pitch for them, so they don't have the world's greatest rotation. Start Newcomb and also start Stephen Brawl, who was just starting last year. And then in a blowout, the DH, the big Franimal pitch, which is funny. Red Sox. Tommy Pham is not a leadoff hitter. If he was, he'd been doing it before. Two was a great spot. Devers, I like that he was batting cleanup for a bit, but then he put him back to batting second duty. He's a middle of the order hitter. And then Christian Royal is a super utility guy. You don't bat him fifth. Leadoff's okay. And then Rev, Rev Shiner, again, super utility man. You don't waste a DH spot. Or throw him in right field when he's a second baseman by trade. Kiki Hernandez, again, they have Duran. And they have this Davis guy. I know they got rid of JBJ, but it's like, you know, there are other guys on the seat that can play center field. Kiki Hernandez could definitely be playing in the infield until Trevor Story comes back. He did play shortstop once. But fifth and seventh don't give him much value in his speed and contact guy. And, Roy, and as I mentioned, Roy batting first is fine. And then Frederick Cordero, he's back because there's some injuries to Eric Cosmer. But again, he's not a first baseman. This dude has no business playing first base. He's out of his element. Center field, good. That's He's an outfielder, okay? And then Reese McGuire, the backup catcher. What you do with back catchers, he pitched in a blowout. I don't know if he's the starter because Pilecki's back of either way. One of the catchers pitched in a blowout. And then Bobby Delvac. We all know he's a third baseman. With Devers, he's played first base. Him playing second base in some switches or blowouts or whatever, that's cool and dandy. But shortstop, like, what are you doing? Both Christian Aguero. KK Hernandez and Rob Refstein are all have more career innings at shortstop. Just think about it. That makes no sense. Orioles, Adley Rushman has been a good offensive rookie catcher this year, but he's not a two-hitter. Urias is speed and contact, not a five. And Hayes is speed and contact, not a six. And they've been taking my advice. Alton Voth has been starting. Reds, Kyle Farmer, Glaze on playing shortstop. So third base is great. But wasting at the H spot on him, when you have Mike Moustakas and Aquino, I'm just like, I don't really know. And then he's not a three-hitter either. You know, backup catch utility players don't bat in the middle lineup. Nick Senzel bat in the middle lineup is a waste. And also waste at the H spot. Again, not a center fielder. They have Friedel, Fraley, and Almora. That's three center fielders. Try to set all those in quickly. And then he batted second once. I'm like, that's perfect. He's a contact hitter. That's what he's supposed to be. And, bat, and playing second base, that's one of his natural positions is infield. Then Donovan Solano, again, a super utility man, batting in fourth or fifth or DHing him or third is a waste in the lineup and a DH spot. And he's not a first baseman. You could always play anyone else at first base. They got plenty of guys who can do that. And then Fraley again, center fielder, speed and contact, not a DH. And Reynolds again, another super utility man, not a, not, not a fifth hitter. And then the Lopez, he's not a great hitter. If he was a great hitter, he'd be an everyday player for this team. So again, a wasted DH spot on him is stupid. And the Pirates, Reynolds, you over this, he's not a center fielder. He's best suited to play corner. And batting him second is okay because he makes a lot of contact, but he's perfect to bat third. Not Ben Gamble, a backup outfielder who's there for defense. DH team batting fourth is a waste. This Madras, playing him in the outfield when he's an infielder is silly. And playing Mercado in the outfield when he's an infielder and vice versa. If one's an outfielder, you play him in the outfield, then one's an infielder. And then Van Beter, again, is quad A player. You're wasting your time when the Pirates are going nowhere. You give young players at bats. Even if you're playing Madras and Marcano out of position, you're at least giving them a bat. Greg Al, like Ben Gamble, he's a good fourth or fifth outfielder for speed and defense, not a DH, not a middle of the order hitter. That's where they're making sense. Not making any sense. And Will Crow again. Pirates don't have a lot of good starting pitching, so you might as well start somebody who has talent as a starter. Jeff McNeil, I love the dude. He's a great contest hitter, but not a middle of the order six hitter. Philly, Schwarber and Hoskins should not be batting one and two because then stop the young infielders batting third. Gene Segura is batting fifth, sixth, or seventh. Vierling and all these other guys 
are batting somewhere between five and seven, and that's not where they belong. We got Schwerber Hoskins, JT Remuto, Alec Bohm, when Bryce Harper's officially back, and Nixie Castellanos. That's a great three through seven. Like, he's not many teams better than that. Blue Jays, why is Guer Guerrero still batting second? He's a middle order slugger like his father. Okay, because then Bo Bichette's batting fifth, and Alejandro Kirk is batting third in DH when he's uh, mostly a backup catcher. And again, Tapia batting seventh when he's speeding contact is a waste. I like when he batted leadoff one. And then again, Springer is not a leadoff hitter. He should bat middle of his lineup. Because then Guriel Jr. is batting leadoff when he was batting cleanup for a good chunk of the year. That makes no sense. Whip Merrifield playing center field. I wrote it twice because the dude's not a center fielder. He's not even outfielder by trade. Right field's always been a stretch. Okay? Bijo got to play Dodger Born second base, which is cool. And and, uh, and again, it's like Tapia, as I mentioned, leadoff hitter, not a seven hitter. Yankees, Diesel Mayu, this past week, he batted first. He batted fourth. Again, not a cleanup hitter. And first is not his best spot, but he batted second once. I'm like, cool. But then they DH'd him, and then they played him at first base. It's like, dude, the second baseman by trade, let him play there. Judge. He bat, he's been batting second. He's not a two hitter, he's a middle hitter. So he batted third once, which I'm like, that's awesome. But then they go, ah, let's throw back in center field. He called up this Florial dude. You have Aaron Hicks, okay? You've had Tim LaCastro. You got enough dudes who can play center field. That's kind of a stretch. And Andrew Benteni, I thought when getting him, he would be in the one or two spot, mostly the two spot, because I don't want Judge or Rizzo or anybody second. But then they batted fifth. At least when they batted him second, that was cool. And then they even went above and went first. I'm like, no, no, no. Just keep these on where he is. That's where he's fine. I wrote this twice. These are made by a cleanup. It's not a cleanup hitter. We've been over this. Isaiah Cotter-Valefa is a catcher by trait, not a shortstop. Martin Gonzalez, who is a shortstop, he did play some infield, but again, throw him in the outfield. Then I saw him make like a bad play and then judge in the center field, and they're just making a really bad defensive outfield. And this Osvaldo dude they just called up from their minor leagues, one of their better prospects. He's an infielder by trade, but again, throwing him in the outfield when you're already throwing Martin Gonzalez in the outfield and playing judge in center field is silly. And then Trevino... One of their catchers also pitched in a blowout. Angels, Otani and Trout, stop batting either one of them one or the other one second. They should be batting always third and fourth. Ward is having an all-star caliber season, and Jared Walsh had an all-star caliber season last year. That's the heart of your lineup, that three through six. Because I don't want to see Renjifo, at this point, a speed contact hitter, utility player, not really solidified as an everyday player batting in the middle lineup, or Fletcher batting middle lineup when he's supposed to be Top or bottom, and same thing with Max Stassi back at Petrus, not being middle lineup. Okay? Fletcher batted, is batting first recently. I'm like, that's perfect. That's where he actually belongs. And Otani's batted third a few times. I'm like, perfect. But again, Taylor Ward, a catcher playing the outfield, a stretch. And then Phil Gosson, the super utility man, pitching a blowout, which makes sense. You throw your utility guy out there. But then again, they started Tuki to say once or twice. Then he's pitching on a bullpen. I'm like, what are you doing? Just keep him in the rotation. You don't have amazing starting pitching staff. You might as well do it. Then the Tigers. Haas is a backup catcher. Backup catchers don't bat cleanup. Okay, Harold Castro, super utility man. They don't bat three through six. He's not a first baseman. I would have much rather Jonathan Scope, who's an everyday second baseman, but not the world's great defensive player. He played first base. Okay? Willie Castro, who we all know is a natural born shortstop, and this week he played second and short. Batting second, perfect. But again, not a five hitter. He's a speeding contact guy. And then throwing him in the outfield when he makes so many bad defensive plays in the outfield is kind of a waste. Victor Reyes, perfect batting second because he's got speed and contact. Okay, Clemens, the super utility man, son of Roger Clemens, took a while to get to major leagues. He's not a three hitter, he's a super utility guy. And lastly, for the Tiger, Daniel Norris. When I saw that he was back with them, I'm like, cool, maybe they'll take my advice and go back to putting him in the rotation. Then they did, but now they're like, no, nah, never mind, we'll put him back in the bullpen. Like, what are you doing? They don't have a great rotation because Rodriguez missed a chunk of the season, and a lot of the other pitchers have been hurt this year. Royal. Melendez, I've seen him in every city that I could potentially see him in his home ballpark, some road ballpark. The dude is not an outfielder, he's a bad defensive outfielder. You got a DH and we're playing the catcher in his natural position. Okay? He's not a leadoff hitter either, because leadoff hitter's got speed. With Mary with Bob Good Jr. moving in between second and third, I always like just keep him one spot. Moving in between second and between shortstop and third base, keep him in one spot. And then Rooker, he's a fourth or fifth outfielder on most teams. He's not a middle of the order DH. And Michael A. Taylor is a gold glove caliber gold glove center fielder. He's not a six or seven hitter. And Massey, you just call him up this young guy. He's not a cleanup hitter either. Then Dozier, stop throwing him in the outfield. Let him play first base at third base. And this Pacino dude, if he's hurt, then Prado should get an opportunity to play first base every day, if not O'Hearn, because Prado is a first baseman. Stop throwing him in the outfield. And then Luke Weaver is a young starting pitcher of the Cardinals scale on the Paul Goldschmidt trade. He was just in the Diamondbacks rotation before they filled out the whole rotation for the year, and he was the odd man out. He should be starting. The Royals don't have the world's greatest staff. It's Bubik, Singer, and Zach Greinke. Come on. 
Rave. Brandon Lau, not a leadoff fitter. He's been perfect batting second, but then you're a little bit stretched when he's batting fourth. Third is okay because that's usually your best overall hitter. Then Harold Mears, who's a backup outfielder, should not be wasting a DH spot, batting in the middle out and playing first base when they got Diaz and they got Choi. Okay? Diaz and Choi should also not be batting one and two because they're the only dudes with power on this team that you could be afraid of hitting a home run. And then Dave Peralta, who they just added, helps them out because he should be batting in the middle lineup, not second. Okay? Manuel Margot, speed and contact. Never been a three through six hitter consistently. And Paredes and Anna, another super utility man, not should be batting in the middle lineup. And Reigns Arena has been a pretty good player for them, but I wouldn't bat in third and fourth when you have Peralta, Choi, and Diaz. And Lau, okay? And then, again, Chang and Paredes are super utility shortstops by trade. I mentioned they got enough first baseman. There should be no need for that. With Harold Mears doing that as well. And then Jalen Beeks, I see him start. Then I see him relieve. Just start him, dude. This team doesn't have enough physical starting pitchers on paper. And they actually took my advice. And Yarborough actually started a game and didn't come in the middle. Bethancourt, the backup catcher. Or at this point, with Zeno Nott, he's probably the starting catcher. Depending on what you do with Mejia, he pitched in a blowout as well. So that's just where, like, come on. What are you doing there? White Sox. Pollock has been the leadoff spot with Anderson Hurt. I'm like, fine. But then when they play him in center field and play two first basemen flanking him, that's not the world's greatest outfield. Vaughn batting second is pretty stupid because then I see that Elvis Andrus, the new guy they got, Harrison, Zevi Zavala, or Perez guy they called up, or one of the Gonzalez's or Sosa's, whatever, like, I mean, you know, Castro, whatever their names are, these young infielders. They are not six through seven hitters. That's what happens when you see... Elvis Andrews or Josh Harrison bat seven is because you're wasting Moncada or Vaughn in the two spot when they should be batting in the middle lineup. Vaughn playing right field when he's more career innings in left field again is silly. Sheets at least has had more career innings in the outfield, but he's again first base in DH. Robert batting second again is a waste because then even if Moncada and Vaughn are lower in the lineup, you still got these guys who are contact hitters or they just strike out a lot when you're doing that. Aloy batting third is fine, but I'd rather Robert bat third, go Abreu, then go Aloy fifth. And if you want to bat Sheets or Vaughn 6th and the other one 7th and Makata all the way 8th, I'll take it. Or you put one of those guys 8th. You put one of those guys 2nd if the other alternative is them batting 8th. But if they're batting 5th, if the other alternative is you got other guys batting 7th, then I'm like, yeah, that's not great. Okay, at least Vaughn played first base once. He batted 5th. The Sox lost a DH with maneuvering. Again, Sheets batting 2nd is even dumber than Vaughn and Makata because at least Makata has speed and, and Vaughn hits for a lot of contact. Then they even made it even worse Vaughn leading off the dude is no speed like what are you doing the only reason you bet Vaughn or Makata second is if the alternative is them batting eighth but that you know you got to put Harrison or the catcher eighth or something like that I mean second that's pretty stupid there Indians whole Rosario playing sh second shortstop when he's not been the world's great defense shortstop he's been playing more be much better this year but that's because he got wrecked it took him a while to do that, but he's not a two-hitter. He's one of the better offensive players on this team. And then Jimenez came out of nowhere when he was hitting with the Mets or the Cleveland team before and batting him fifth. Again, if he's playing his natural born position shortstop where he's got a great defensive value there and he's hitting, that's even better. Owen Miller, stop wasting a first base spot on him when you have Josh Naylor. Also, he's on a middle yarder, and Naylor should bat in cleanup when Ray is gone. This Oscar Gonzalez rookie has a lot to bet this dude cleanup. Astros, Altuve, we know he's perfect two-hitter, not a leadoff hitter. Yuli Gurriel should be bad in the middle lineup because I'm seeing lines for Jeremy Pena, Kristen Vasquez, and Mauricio Dubon, and Myers and McCormick batting somewhere between five and seven. I'm like, if you just put Bregman, Alvarez, Trey Mancini, Gurriel in the heart of the lineup, and and, and I mentioned and like Tucker, like those are guys that should be there, not those other guys there. Dubon's a little bit stretch of playing center field. They have two center fielders. Him batting second is fine because he has speed and contact. And Trey Mancini has no business playing the outfield when, I just listened, they got McCormick and they got Meyer. They also, obviously, Dubon and Len Diaz, the super utility infielders playing the outfield, but that's better than a first baseman. I thought he got away from doing that when he left Baltimore, Atlanta. Acuna batting leadoff is not where he's best suited. At least he's not playing center field. Right field's good. Swanson batting second with all the LB injuries, but a good for him. And also batting third or fourth is perfect. He's a middle of the order hitter. This rookie Grisham batting sixth or seventh, and then I see Ozuna batting eighth, and Robert Gross batting ninth. Those are veterans. You get the rookies like him and Harris at the bottom of the lineup. And Contreras, he's had an all-star season, but I'm not putting him in the five spot when you've got Rosario and those other guys. And Colin McHugh, again, wasting his innings out of the bullpen when he's starting pitcher. Texas, Simeon and Seager are supposed to be your offensive juggernauts in the middle lineup with Lau, Cole Calhoun, Adoles Garcia. They're not one or two because then you get guys batting fourth and the sixth who are not meant to be there. And Culberson is a good utility man, but not a shortstop. That's not his natural position. And Matt Moore, wasting his innings at a lever when he can start when the team doesn't have great starting pitching. Giant. Slater, we know this. He's a corner outfielder, not a center fielder, nor leadoff. He's a power guy. 
Yaz is beating Comp Bash should be batting fifth. Crawford should not be batting as high as sixth. Then Bell, eight. Bell should be in the middle of the lineup. Estrada, I guess he's taking Dubon's and Rojo as a shortstop in utility man playing center field. But this team has enough outfielders to begin with. And then Lestella always get DH spot when you can DH JD Davis or Longoria or Brandon Belt or, you know, Mercedes. That makes no sense. And then Twin putting Nick Gordon in the outfield. At least he's got speed, but again, not an outfielder. Tim Beckham, again, another shortstop in the outfield. And at least, and Gordon's not a middle of the hitter. He's been bottom line. Miranda, stop playing with third base if you give Rochelle a day off. Arise should be an opportunity to play third base because he's not a first baseman. That's like a, I've been over this. Kepler batting eighth when he's batting cleanup a lot of the year is a waste. And then Polanco, they keep throwing this guy from left to right. Blah, blah, blah. So he starts with batting fifth, which is his best spot. But then at bat him, clean up our third when that's, you know, a better spot for like Correa and Kepler and maybe Sano if he was healthy. It's like, no. Then they had batted him first. Dude's not a leadoff hitter. He's an offensive infielder. Like he hits 20 plus home runs a year. Sixth is fine, but fifth is where he's been best. Then Arise, he's batted a leadoff. And then they batted him third. Then they batted him fifth. I'm like, dude. If he's going to be your leadoff hitter because Buxton should be in the leadoff spot, then keep him there. Don't just fling him around everywhere. And then wasting him at DH when you got guys who can't feel in the team, then him playing second base, his natural position is cool. They finally did that. And then Correa batting second when he should be in that middle of the lineup. Same thing with Buxton. Batting him leadoff, I mean, that Buxton should be in the middle of the lineup. So when they have him batting third or fourth, I'm like, fine, he's got 28-something home runs right now. But again... Leadoff is where he's had the most success. That's where I would keep him there. That they're just like moving, moving Polanco and Arise and Buxton and Correa all over the place and Kepler not keeping consistency. Rocky Iglesias never been a great hitter, so batting him first, eh, he's got some speed, but fifth is not where he belongs. Rogers batting second is better than him batting third or fourth because he's not a great offensive player. And Connor Joe is the first baseman playing the outfield. We went over this, and he's not a leadoff hitter. Blackman batting second is that lo- no value to him. He's always been a leadoff hitter, but. He- but third has been great for him. McMahon's not a leadoff hitter. If he's not batting three through five, bat him six or seven. And then Lament and Gomber should be starting. Gomber was supposed to be this great guy. They talked about him in the old there and trade last year and this year. And again, pitching out of bullpen. And then Lament, they got him. He should be starting. But again, there's no room. And then Hampson is shortstop playing center field when they got Hilliard and Daz. It makes no sense. Washington, keep out Ruiz. He's our Hernandez. Yadier Hernandez, you name it. All these guys who would most likely be backup outfielders on teams that are trying or bottom of lineup outfielders, or like Ruiz, the rookie catcher, bottom line, not middle of the lineup. This Menendez dude is a first baseman, but he can't play there because of Luke Voigt, and he can't DH because of Nelson Cruz. So he has to play the outfield. But again, he's not a two-hitter. He should play in the middle of the lineup. Lane Thomas batting leadoff is perfect because of speed and contact. Padres, profile, we don't, he's not a leadoff hitter. He's not a, a outfielder. He's not a left fielder. Shorts off by trade. But again, batting seventh is not where you belong. Leadoff is better than seventh because he's speed and contact. Brandon Jury, he's been a great offensive player this year, but he and Cronenworth should not be batting in the middle of the lineup. Jury should be lower because he's more of a super utility guy, and Cronenworth batting second is actually where he belongs. Then Will Myers batting leadoff is a waste when he's always been a middle order hitter, and again, not a center fielder. You got Grisham. What are you doing? Okay? And then Juan Soto should not be playing right field. He's a better suited than left field, and again, he should be batting third or fourth, not second. Mariners, Julio Rodriguez having a great rookie year, but he's not a leadoff hitter. Second, maybe. Third, no, not fourth. Maybe fifth or sixth. Ty France has never been a number two hitter. He's a power guy. And J.B. Crawford's always been a speed contact hitter, not a five or six hitter. And Winker's supposed to be middle lineup, not second. Frazier doesn't give you any offensive value batting six or seven. It's either one, two, eight, or nine. And then more of the super utility man, Haggerty, who's become a backup, who's a second baseman, and Lamb, a third baseman. Stop throwing them in the outfield, man. They're not outfielders. Ace, Pinder, and Kemp. Infielders by trade. Stop throwing them in the outfield. Nor do you want to bat Pinder in the middle lineup. Okay, Seth Brown. Batting him in the middle of the lineup is fine, but he's not a two hitter. But then he's not a first baseman. He's playing him in the outfield. I've seen him make great defensive plays in the corner outfield this season, this past week. And Langerleers, the rookie catcher, it's cool that he's up, but he's not a number two hitter. Bat him with the bottom line lineup till he gets going. And then they lost the DH of maneuvering, but at least Kemp is batting one or two. That's where he kind of belongs. Cardinals, I guess they're moving with Carlson going forward, playing center field. Not the world's greatest center fielder, but again. If he's not going to bat second, he's going to bat leadoff. Okay, five, but he's again not a leadoff hitter. Edmund's been good there, not sixth. So then he threw Carlson last. I'm like, dude, if he's not going to be your two hitter or your leadoff, ninth is kind of too low for this player. He's really talented. And then Edmund doesn't give you value batting sixth, but batting leadoff he did once, which is great. Tyler O'Neill, we notice him, Goldsmith, Arenado, that's your three through five. That's really good. So batting him second's a waste. And again, he's not a center fielder. 
If Carlson's not a center fielder, then Tyler O'Neill is not a center fielder. Like, Carlson's a great defensive right fielder, and O'Neill's won a gold glove in left field. Gold glove left fielder don't necessarily mean you're center fielder. And Lars Newsbar is only a great offensive outfielder. Why are you batting him last? Then you're like, well, let's correct that. Batting him He's not a lead outfielder. You got Tommy Edmond, for God's sake. And then Donovan playing the outfield when he's an infielder, there was nowhere to put him. They lost the DH maneuvering, and the Dickerson. I see him make some bad defensive plays in the outfield. If he's in right field and Tyler O'Neill's in center field and Gorman Thomas or Donovan are in the outfield, you got infielders in the outfield, you got Dickerson who's more of a DH left fielder playing right field. And O'Neill, it's like, do you want the world's def worst defensive center field in baseball? And then Jordan Hicks went from starting pitcher to closer to setup man. Now he's just like middle relief. Like, I don't know what you're doing. This rotation hasn't been that great. There's been injuries of Flaherty, Mats, and, 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 and Wainwright's getting up there. And he's just like, I don't know what they're doing there. They have to go trade for Quintana. Okay, Dimeback. Farshol's not a leadoff hitter. He's a catcher. He's got no speed. And again, stop playing catchers in center field. It's one thing to play him in corner, but again, right field's still a stretch. And then they're like, nah, let's play him a catcher. Marlins. Brian Anderson is not an outfielder. There's nobody on this 40-man roster that is better than him than he's been. He's a 20 home run guy when healthy and a 75 to 80 RBI guy. And he's played a pretty good defensive third base. If you want to throw, sign him over the first base because Cooper's injured or Aguilar has been hurt, whatever the point is, cool. But he's not an outfielder. There's no infielder team. Joey Wendell should be playing second base because Chad Chisholm's been out the whole year. That's the only spot to put him with Rojas and shortstop. So Anderson should not be playing the outfield. And not two. If if you don't have Soler and you don't have Avi Garcia and you don't have Cooper and you don't have Aguilar, Anderson's the only real offensive throw in the middle lineup. So Fortes, a youngster. Blade, a youngster. I, I, just, I, I just don't get it, okay? And then... Wendell's not a shortstop. We've been over this. He's a second baseman by trade. Dodgers. Hansa Roberto pitching a blowout. That's cool. Trey Thompson DHing. It's a waste of a DH because he's a gold glove caliber outfielder. And then they lost it with the maneuvering. David Price still pitching on a bullpen. No offense to Heaney and Anderson with Bueller out for the rest of the year. I'm like, yeah, Price should have been in the rotation this year. Bellinger, not a center fielder. We always said first baseman by trade playing the outfield. And if they're like, well, he's not been great offensively. Let's bat him ninth. If he's not giving you anything offensively and you're batting him ninth, then why play him in center field when he's not a center fielder? You could throw him in left field. You have Trace Thompson. You even have Chris Taylor back. But again, Chris Taylor, not a sixth hitter. He's either one or two at the bottom of the lineup. Muncy is no business but second base when you got Lux, Chris Taylor, and Hansa Roberto. No business there. Will Smith has been a good offensive catcher this year. Should have been an all-star over Darno. But he's not a cleanup hitter nor a DH. They got plenty of DHs on the team. Alberto Gant, super utility man playing first base when you got plenty of guys who play first base like Turner and Muncy and Bellinger. just makes no sense. And then Betts leading off, which he's done a lot in his career, but he's best suited badly to bat middle lineup. And Trey Turner's best suited to bat lead off, him batting second. Thanks for listening to another edition of MLB Observations for the 2022 season, week 20. For On The Red Tape Blog, I'm Radar. See you guys next time.